What's up legends? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my Porsche, uh, which is my daily driver. I'm driving it around all over the place. And if you've seen recent videos, I only just picked it up with a few more modifications not too long ago. Tech art pieces, it's had previously the exhaust. And I was reading through the comments, one of the most recurring comments is how much has the car cost you? How much does the, uh, are the running costs of a supercar? How much are the modifications costing you? And I find these videos kind of interesting, you know, when I watch other people make videos on, you know, the running costs of the cars, because when you're looking to buy a car, there's obviously the cost price of the car, but then also the running cost. So I thought, why not kind of do a full tour? I'll walk you through every little expense I've had with the car, you know, when I put all the various changes on, whether they're worth it, not worth it, etc. So ooh, I'm gonna need to put the lift up here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna find somewhere to pull over so that we can walk through all those things together. But also, before I do that, I wanted to just say that I've put the link down below to the website where you can get your pair of my new shoes, Dream Create Share DCS shoes, which we launched uh, recently also with a launch event in Monaco. And the website is online and hopefully there's maybe even, you know, the size that you would maybe potentially want still available. So if that's of interest, I'll put the website down below and you can go have a little look. I just wanted to put a little reminder out there for you guys. Anyways, let's pull over and have a little tour around this thing. When you arrive in Monaco here at the port, there's always a bit of boat spotting which needs to be done. Look at the size of those kind of antennas up there. Those are for the internet on the boat or the navigation systems and things like that. And there's another big boat over there, which apparently is Maria Carey's X. So there you go, now you know, completely useless information, but now you're aware. All right, so first of all, here are the shoes that I was speaking to you guys about. Um, so there you go, the website will be, will be below. Now, I'm gonna do a tour of the car, but before I get started, I wanna say I'm just doing this video. I don't want it to be misunderstood. I'm doing it because I find these kinds of videos interesting, and I think there aren't that many videos, uh, honest kind of videos of you know, talking about the actual price of these cars, the running costs and all of that. I'm not doing it to kind of be like, oh, well, look, you know, how much this is. I'm doing it more just to inform you and maybe warn you towards the, the cost of a car like this in case you're considering this specific car or a similar car. I just want to make that clear so it's not misunderstood because, you know, often, yeah, I get worried that these things are misunderstood as just wanting to kind of show off the cost rather than do it for an, for informative reasons. Anywho, on that note, the first main cost is obviously the car. Now that is a tricky one because it really varies as to where you are, the cost. But I bought this car in Switzerland, in Swiss francs, and they're actually holding their value really pretty well because the 992s are having such shortages that it means the 991s are holding their value if not going up a little bit as well. So thank you 992s. That means that these are around 180 to 190,000 Swiss francs at the moment. 4-1 in, you know, this kind of spec, etc. It can maybe a bit more, but let, let's just, you know, say around there, which is about 160,000 euros. So, you know, translate that into dollars, it's around probably $180,000 or pounds, let's say 130 pounds, something like that. Anyway, that is the cost of the car. Then the other thing which is a big cost and which varies a lot is the insurance. That depends who you are, what your driving history is, how old you are, etc. For me, I'm young, I'm 24 years old, so you know there's obviously a cost associated to having a car with nearly 600 horsepower at 24 years old. But yeah, let's round up delivery costs, insurance, you know, any kind of, sometimes when you'll buy a car like this, it may have like a tiny little scratch somewhere, and so you'll buy it from the dealer and then have to fix that up, or whatever it may be. Let's round the overall price of for buying the car, having it on the road, all of that stuff to around 165,000 euros. Then, what were any costs that came after that? Well, to be honest, with this, there weren't any, because when I got it, it had the two plus two, it's called warranty, which means when you buy the car, you get automatically two years warranty, and the two plus two means you add two more years to get four years warranty. So this car is under warranty until end of 2022. So anything really that happens to it is under warranty. So that takes a lot of stress off owning one of these. For example, the Scud, was out of warranty with it being a 2009 car. And that does add stress and it means that as soon as there's a little something that goes wrong with it, it can represent, you know, pretty drastic costs. So yeah, oh, I'm such a fan walking around. I love this car. Okay, so warranty, thankfully, 
on this car. Then, let's get into modifications. Now, first modification was the exhaust. Quicksilver exhaust, I, get the, I kept the same exhaust tips, so you can't really tell there's an exhaust system on this on the outside until it starts up. But I, yeah, put a custom made exhaust. Now, an exhaust system, a decent exhaust system for a car of this type, for a good system like this one, will be around 5,000 euros. You can get some for a lot less, Around 2,000 is probably starting price. You can get some for a lot more. Around 10,000 will be the most expensive, I'd say. But let's say around five to round things up. So that now brings us to 170,000 euros. And we've got the exhaust on the car. And all the rest is obviously personal taste kind of stuff that has been added on this one, but mainly with tech art. And tech art, the quality of tech art, like you maybe see my other videos with them, is absurd. The quality of the carbon weave that they've got is incredible and you can basically just think of it as extra Porsche options. So I'll list out some of the tech art stuff I've added. I've already done a video listing all of the stock Porsche options. I think there's around 55,000 euros of stock Porsche options on this car compared to a standard Turbo S. But then now it's had the tech art stuff added. I'm gonna let this scooter go by for the noise. So this car has had a few things, the first of which are these rims. Now the rims not only look cool, but they actually save quite a bit of weight and I'll call it corner weight because it's weight which is in each corner of the car and so it makes a big difference to the handling of the car. Now these are around 5,000, uh, all four painted. These are usually come diamond finished, but these we had painted all black. So there you go, you can add those. We've also added the carbon fiber here. That is around 2,000 a piece because you have this carbon fiber right here and then these two pieces. And so that's around 2,000 for the front uh, LED covers. Side skirts, those are around 3,000 for the carbon side skirts. And then everything is around 1,000. So 1,000 for this carbon here, 1,000 down here. A thousand on the rear diffuser and a few little details that we did inside for around 300 a piece for the mats and the pedals now an expensive option i believe around two and a half thousand are the carbon back pieces on the rear seat now i actually haven't installed them yet i have them uh, i just haven't installed them because i can't decide if i want to remove this leather or not because that's an expensive standard option from porsche and you would need to literally cut that to put the carbon on so I haven't quite decided on that yet. So I've got the carbon pieces sat at home. I just haven't put them on the car. Now, effectively, there's around 24,000 euros worth of tech art pieces on this car, which is around what it would cost if you were to spec all these things straight from Porsche, all the extra carbon, because th right here, this carbon here, the carbon there, and the carbon on the wing mirrors come straight from Porsche, and those three pieces alone were around 10,000. So yeah, basically it's the same as if you got the options from Porsche. I think it makes a big difference to the look of the car. I love how subtle it is. You can go crazy and get a 100,000 euro kit and have the GT Street R, which is awesome. I love those. You can do the interior, the exterior, but personally I like the kind of slightly more discreet side. So that brings your total to around 190, 195,000 euros for a Porsche Turbo S like this one. And then, the thing you need to keep in mind with this kind of car is the running cost post warranty, as I mentioned. With the Ferrari, for example, every time I took it for a service, it was around 1,500 euros. So even if you don't have anything particularly wrong with it, it will always end up being around that. Whereas on, oh, look, nice, nice during the video, but, if you have, you know, an RS3, let's say like this one right here, you know, it's, it's never going to really end up being that much. Also, you'll probably be under warranty and that makes a big difference. So that's the main thing to keep in mind if you're considering a supercar. And when I have friends, contacts uh, from the car world that are thinking of getting their first supercar, it's the first thing I say. If your car's out of warranty, just think that every time you go to the garage, there is going to be a cost associated and plan for it because or else you may find yourself in a bit of a sticky situation. The other thing which um, 
is to keep in mind is often you'll have really big body panels on these cars to get these designs, these nice kind of swooping lines, etc. You don't want body panel gaps all over the place. So often that means, for example, I remember on my Lotus, the whole front end was one piece. So if ever you have a little scratch or whatever it may be, it will cost a lot more to repaint or replace a body panel on a car of this type than, again, on a car of that type. So there you go. Um, those are the th main kind of warnings from personal experience which I haven't had on this car but that I would say you know I, I have been unfortunate enough to have on other cars uh, but overall Porsche one of the big main positive notes of Porsche is that you're relatively safe they're pretty bulletproof so first of all you've got good warranties and second of all they're so well built that yes you'll spend a lot on options and things like that but then theoretically you won't really need to spend much after that because the car's pretty bulletproof you won't really have many problems if you do they'll be covered by warranty and so on whereas mainly with Italians you never quite know what's gonna come even after you've spent a fortune on the spec. So yeah, that's one of the attractive points towards Porsche as a first kind of supercar or just expensive car experience. So yeah, that's what I would say. But I, you know, that kind of rounds things up. And as I said, again, this is purely informative. Maybe you didn't enjoy this video and if you didn't, you probably didn't click on it. Um, uh, well, I guess you have now at this point if you've watched it, haven't you? But you know what I mean? I just want this video to mainly just be informative because I do think it's important you know, we're all car fans and the dream is to one day be able to spend a lot of time in a supercar, but you need to do that in a responsible way, which isn't going to end up causing you more stress than pleasure because then the whole experience loses its point. So I want it more to be, I'd rather everyone has all the information out there from my end about what this specific car, for example, has cost me rather than picture it and end up in a tricky situation. So there you go. I'm really, really happy with it. Really pleased with the way it looks. I'm gonna leave it this way for now. As I said, the only difference that I may or may not add are the carbon seats. I don't know if I'll put that on. Let me know in the comments down below. But apart from that, I'm really pleased with, with the turbo and excited to keep spending a lot of time with it. It's not like a flip it car. I think I'll keep this car for a while. I'm driving it around a lot. I think I've put 10,000 kilometers on it already. So yeah, I'm loving it and I look forward to making more videos with it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it fun, informative, and I'll see you again very soon. Subscribe if you're not already. Cheers guys, bye bye.